I love the Star Wars stuff, R2-D2 and C-3PO, the whole gang, and even the Chewbacca, Chewy. yeah. High temperatures today, <laughs> let's get to weather. It was a beautiful Sunday, uh, a gorgeous end to the weekend, lots of blue skies, and we saw the winds that were a lot less than yesterday, not as gusty, and with the dry air, we started very cool, and then we warmed up nicely into the upper 60s for the upstate, much colder into the mountains, 43 in Asheville, uh, 53 rather, 54 in Franklin, 68 in Greenville, 66 in Newberry, Anderson at 67. So we saw the cold air in the mountains and then that downslope, uh, that warming wind. Looking outside, Harley Davidson camera right now. We're looking at quiet conditions, good visibility. It's going to be a great commute tomorrow morning. And make sure you grab your shades out the door and that heavier jacket as well. It's cold in the mountains, 42 in Asheville, 44 in Franklin, 34 in Waynesville, but 55 in Greenville, 52 in Anderson, and 48 into Union. Those temperatures are dropping off pretty quickly. And after a cold start, I'm forecasting a high tomorrow of 67 for the upstate. Normal 68, but you're going to be below average in the mountains. Normally low 60s around 63. I'm forecasting 58 for you. Right now the winds are beginning to calm down finally. They've been blowing hard all weekend. Now northwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Fox Radar 3D showing just a few little wispy clouds and you see some radar returns. A little bit of green showing up through Georgia. That's a little disturbance sliding through. I highly doubt any of this is hitting the ground because the air is so dry. If it is, just a few sprinkles, but we continue in this chilly northwesterly flow and look at this lake effect snow from Ohio to Pennsylvania and New England with this northwest flow so uh, we could be thankful we're not seeing that and this is the source of the cold air this big high pressure dome over Minnesota and that's just pumping the cold air over the top of us so that's going to continue we continue in this northwest flow you see the high clouds from time to time it's going to be a cold start as I mentioned earlier make sure you cover or bring in those plants especially into the higher elevations and then as we go into Monday afternoon, lots of sunshine, but that's when that fire danger goes up. So make sure uh, you really don't burn until we get some appreciable rain. And it's going to be a while. As we go to Monday night, maybe a few more clouds. And then on Tuesday, here comes a warm front. And that could trigger maybe a few sprinkles as we go into the noon hour on Tuesday. Not expecting a lot of moisture with that. And then once the front lifts to the north, we're going to see it really warm up dramatically. I think we're talking upper 70s to maybe close to 80 as we go on into to Wednesday. Then here comes some much needed rain. By Thursday morning, a cold front moving through Tennessee starts to push the rain through Greenville. Right now, it looks like the threat for storms is there, but the threat for severe weather is low. And we'll continue to watch that front moving through. Maybe some lingering showers as we go into Thursday afternoon, but I think a lot of it will be done Thursday afternoon. And then we go into Friday and we'll start to dry things out. And it uh, looks like it'll be pretty pleasant to end the week. For tonight, 34 for the upstate state mostly clear and cold a light northwest breeze for the mountains you're looking at 29 breezy and cold look at these northwest winds 15 to 20 gusting up to 25 miles per hour tomorrow 58 for you 61 on tuesday 72 wednesday storms likely on thursday and for the upstate you're looking at upper 60s monday maybe a tad cooler tuesday but there's a warm day on wednesday close to 80 i'm thinking 78 thursday we're looking at uh, thunderstorms likely uh, not severe. We dry it out Friday and Saturday. It looks like another chance of some showers on Sunday. Only about a 30% chance and a high of 70. Show.